BB, don't stand on that. Thank you. Here. What? You don't want to be in it? Come on. Come back. Come back. Come back. You're flying too high. No one can see you. Step up. You don't want to be in the video? We want you to be. We want you in it. We're going to show everybody how we're making the t-shirts for the fall festival. The fall festival's this weekend. Hey, everybody. I think we're going to put this clip in the blog video. The vlog video. So, I line it up. I like to have it pretty close to the top. As you can see, they say like what, four fingers? Um, so that's about good, maybe a little higher. It depends on the design. This is a bigger design, so you can go a little higher because it'll cover more ground. Are you making a mess over here? You are making a mess. Okay. So then, this is photographic. This has been exposed. There's lots of videos. Did you just get seeds in the silk screen, TV? There's a lot of videos that'll teach you how to do this. I found one through Make Magazine, and it was very simple. The tutorial that I saw showed uh, the image was an underwater, a deep sea diver guy with like one of those old school dive helmets. So if you find that video, then that's the one. Okay, so once you have your screen, it's pretty easy. I don't like to use, I don't, you don't need to use too much of this stuff I've found. The more you use, the more it clogs your, the faster it clogs your screen. And the benefit of silk, silk screening is that you can do multiple prints in a row. Okay, here we go. Get a nice thin layer. This is called loading the screen. You want to load the screen first uh, so that the ink or paint or whatever you want to call it is actually in the design. And you don't want it to sit there too long or it'll dry. It's definitely an art, not just a science. Okay, so now we push it through. Combination of loading Excuse me, loading <clears throat> and pushing. And I want to put a little bit more because I know that there's certain areas of my screen that aren't as good as they should be. That's why if you, if you actually buy the shirts from the website, it's a different process called sublimation and you get a perfect print every time. Whereas this is, each one is totally different. Now once I've got ink evenly distributed, then it's a lot easier to, the second one goes a lot smoother than the first one. Let's see. Look at that. It's pretty much perfect. These are the areas right here that I mentioned where the screen isn't perfect. So I put a little bit of ink there, but I kind of like that it's chewed away. It makes it kind of have a vintage look, but if it's not perfect, then I just fill in a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Okay, so that's one. Okay, I gotta clean up this area so I know which ones are wet and which ones are dry. What, BB? We did all these already. Okay, but we can't let the screen sit there for too long. Watch out, BB. You want to do this as quick as you can because you don't want the screen to get dry. So again, I sort of measure out. Go. 
kind of work the, the ink so it's not all clumpy. And that should be enough. Load the screen. Wiggling it down here to try to coverage. Okay, now here we go. Boom. This is when you're pushing it through. There I'm loading it, filling the design, and then I push it through. I like to get it from different angles. Let's see how we let's see how we did without going crazy. Sometimes it's don't need to go overboard. You causing trouble over here, BB? I like that one. Let's fix our little P. But I like it when it when it has a different texture. Because you can read it. Let's solidify the, the end of the S there. This font is called Bauhaus. And that's just kind of how it is. There we go. Bibi! You're making a mess! Please don't poop on this shirt. Okay, I like that one. That one looks cool. Let's do one last one. You want to do a different color? We've got some blue ones left, but let's do this purple. Okay, here we go. You can pretty much get all these colors on the website and more, and you can get a bunch of different sizes. I always love making t-shirts, or the idea of it, and when I was a little kid, I thought it was the coolest thing. 